El Chapo is Mexico's most notorious drug lord, escaped from two maximum security prisons, and became one of the world's most wanted fugitives. But did you know that his wife is even more dangerous? Why does El Chapo say this? Keep watching until the end to find out how El Chapo and his wife ruled the cocaine market. Behind every successful man is a woman who believed in him when no one else did. The same goes for El Chapo. His wife, Emma Coronel Aespuro, stood by him during his darkest days and helped him to build his drug empire. Emma Maresta Coronel Aespuro is a former teenage beauty queen from the United States. She was arrested in the United States in February 2021 on charges of conspiracy to illegally import and distribute illegal drugs, money laundering, and transacting business with a significant foreign narcotics trafficker designated under the Kingpin Act. Coronel was sentenced to three years in prison in November 2021. Emma Coronel Ayespuro, like all other girls competing in the Coffee and Guava Festival beauty pageant in northern Mexico, threw a party to announce her candidacy. On the other hand, Miss Coronel's event had an unusual guest, the world's most powerful drug trafficker. A motorcade of 200 scooters ridden by armed men in black clothing and ski masks rode into the tiny Mexican town of Canales on the day of the event in 2007. Coronel reportedly met Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, who traveled to Canales to meet her. Both of them reportedly agreed to marry that day. Authorities believe Coronel Aspuro played a critical role in Guzman's 2015 escape from a maximum security prison by purchasing property nearby. The plot is something out of a Hollywood film. El Chapo vanished into a 1.6 kilometer tunnel dug into his cell in a maximum security prison in July 2015, complete with air ducts, lights, and a motorcycle that led up to Cartel's property. While he was inside, she also gave him a GPS enabled watch and relayed messages to operatives. It was a humiliating moment for the Mexican government. They had a motorcycle waiting for him in the tunnel, and the entire thing was ventilated, said law expert Luis Gomez Romero. Years later, at Guzman's trial, a high ranking cartel member testified that Ms. Coronel Ayaspuro met with him and his son to carry out escape plans. Later, Mexican drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was convicted and sentenced to life in prison, and the cartel he once led appeared to be stronger than ever. El Chapo regards his wife as dangerous because she is capable of doing whatever she desires. In her husband's absence, she ruled the entire market. According to a March Drug Enforcement Administration threat assessment, the Sinaloa cartel remains the most extensive such organization in Mexico and maintains the widest national influence in the United States. According to the DEA, the cartel is now heavily involved in the trafficking of fentanyl and and methamphetamines in addition to cocaine and heroin. This was because of Emma Caronel. Emma's court appearance built her celebrity image. El Chapo has remained a mysterious folk figure in Mexico for decades, but Miss Caronel Ayaspuro's role after they married appears even less clear. Reporters following El Chapo's case say Miss Caronel Ayaspuro initially refused to give them interviews but has changed her mind in the last couple of years. The former beauty queen has also begun to have a stronger online presence. Ms. Coronel Ayaspuro has hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers despite having very few posts, despite the fact that she claims she does not manage the account herself. She also made quite an impression during her husband's trial in New York, wearing suede jackets, designer dresses, and a diamond-encrusted watch. People were shocked and outraged by the way she flaunted her wealth, which she obtained through drug trafficking. During one of her husband's trials, Coronel was eating chopped iceberg lettuce in the Federal District Court in Brooklyn. She was sitting in the cafeteria with friends, joking about mothers and how to deal with them. She has a big personality. Coronel was in the courtroom almost every day during her husband's trial. However, she has spent more than one year in jail, dressed in prison garb, and held in solitary confinement. She has expressed regret for her actions, claiming that she is ashamed of her role in her husband's drug cartel. Her story is a personal one, involving a cheating husband, a mistress, and a criminal enterprise. Nonetheless, it shed lights on the shadowy world of drug cartels and the women who inhabit them. A trial date has not been set, but if found guilty, she could face life in prison. Leaving aside the issue of guilt or innocence, analysts who study the drug trafficking world say Caronel carved out a unique role for herself. She was a public figure, an entrepreneur, and a gatekeeper, helping to control who had access to her husband while he was running the cartel. According to Cecilia Mendez, a scholar at the University of California, drug traffickers' wives are traditionally viewed as very sexual and having no agency. Caronel was different. She demonstrated that women could hold positions of power. Power. Wielding power in a cartel is a risky undertaking. When you're in this business, you're either going to get caught or you're going to get killed, says Derek Maltz, a former special agent in charge of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. With her plans for a fashion company, Coronel put on a brave face, but fellow investigators were closing in. The world was collapsing around her. The walls were coming down, Maltz says. Her arrest.
On February 22, 2021, Coronel was arrested at Dulles International Airport. According to the arrest warrant, the Federal Bureau of Investigation's probable cause included evidence of Coronel passing messages from Guzman to Sinaloa cartel associates, bribing Guzman's escape from Federal Social Readaptation Center No. 1 of the Plano in 2015, and following his recapture, assisting in the coordination of another escaped attempt that was thwarted after Guzman's extradition. The affidavit cited Guzman's handwritten letter, which he wrote and signed as well as the statement of two unnamed cooperating witnesses who had worked with Guzman. According to sources, Coronel voluntarily surrendered and was seeking a court settlement, but Jeffrey Lynchman, a lawyer for Guzman and Coronel, denied it. The Department of Justice and an FBI spokesperson both declined to comment. Coronel's lawyer criticized her confinement at Alexandria City Jail, claiming she spent 22 hours a day in a small cell with nothing to do but read. The United States Attorney for the District of Columbia and Coronel Ayaspudo agreed to a plea deal on June 10, 2021, in which she waived indictment and pleaded guilty to the United States District Court for the District of Columbia to a felony criminal information with three counts, conspiracy to illegally import heroin, cocaine, marijuana, and amphetamines into the United States, laundering of monetary instruments conspiracy, engaging in property transactions, and dealing with a designated significant foreign narcotics trafficker. As shocking as her arrest may have been, she was not the first Coronel to be arrested for alleged cartel ties. Prosecutors claim Ms. Coronel Ayaspuro grew up with connections to the criminal underworld. Her father, Inez Coronel Barrera, was arrested in a warehouse with hundreds of pounds of marijuana in 2013, along with one of his sons and other men. El Chapo was a fugitive when they met, moving from one hideout to another in the Sinaloa Mountains after escaping from prison in 2001. Guzman used violence to maintain control of the illegal drug trade and reap the benefits and lavish wealth for his wife and family. Since 2006, when the government launched its war on the cartels, more than 300,000 people have been killed in Mexico. Victims included Guzman's enemies as well as people close to him. The body of one of his lovers was discovered in a trunk of a car, the victim of a murder committed by a rival gang. During the trial, Guzman's long-term mistress, Lucero Guadalupe Sanchez Lopez, testified against him. She was arrested in June 2017 near the U.S.-Mexico border on drug charges. She pleaded guilty and was told she faced a 10-year prison sentence. As part of a plea bargain, Sanchez, a mother of two, cooperated with prosecutors. In the courtroom, she described their affair and his work as a cartel leader while wearing a blue prison jumpsuit. She blinked frequently as a nervous tick. Guzman, who was sitting nearby, appeared impatient and kept staring at a clock on the wall. Coronel sat in the second row and showed no emotion. She wore a velvet smoking jacket, similar to the one her husband wore, and combed her long hair with her fingers. According to William Purpura, Guzman's lawyer, the matching jackets demonstrated the strength of their marriage. Coronel wanted to send a message to Sanchez by dressing as a husband and wife on the day the former mistress testified. She was saying to herself, he's mine. Sanchez returned to her cell after speaking in court. Coronel left for dinner in New York City. Soon after, the tables were turned by both women. Sanchez has been released from prison and is now free, Coronel being held in jail without bail. Many people were shocked by the way Coronel flaunted her lifestyle during the trial, and they were disappointed by her devotion to her husband. At the end of the day, wherever it operates in Mexico, the Sinaloa cartel continues to impose repressive, unaccountable dominance underpinned by violence, no matter how collaborated. However, for those who must endure it due to lack of reliable protection from the Mexican government, the Sinaloa cartel's rule is far preferable to ongoing violent conflict among criminal groups. Throughout their journey, El Chapo and his wife both successfully built their empires. In the end, however, both are serving prison sentences. Do you think Emma Caronel was the mastermind behind El Chapo's empire? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments section down below. Stick with us for more thrilling stories like this, and I'll see you in the next video.